I've just finished assembling this cabinet, bookcase, sorry. And this is its manufacturer. There's the website, that's the model number. So, that's how the finished product looks like. I'm gonna have a review on this one briefly. A couple of good things first. The instructions in the manual are pr pretty clear. Let me just get you some of the pictures. That's how they look like, you know. Everything, all of the components are labeled right, drilled right, cut right, by and large. And um, there you can see the shelves are rated for 35 pounds each of load. Oh, that one is 40 pounds, my bad. So, but you get the idea. It's a, it's a nice manual that actually matches the product, which is a good thing, but not always the case. So, otherwise, the cabinet is made of particle board, one inch particle board, big, thick, which is good enough for the shelf, strong enough, so you can put 35 pounds, lots of books or binders on it, and it's not gonna fail anytime soon. Same for the gables, nice and thick, so the shelf um, pins are unlikely to rip out of the particle board or the gables as is. You can see this particle board material it's made of. Here on the back you can see it's made of basically wood chip that's glued together. The back of the cabinet is neatly folded in its package. All of the pieces are unscratched and undamaged. There it nails on. No issues. Couple of observations about the design. Okay, let's start with the back so, because I'm here. You can see how it's uh, bulging out or bowing out away from the shelf. Uh, not a big deal, a couple of nails can fix it. I have all of the nails or what, uh, some extra, some spare nails from the package. They included that, thought about that, so that's good. Cabinet is dirty everywhere. The shelves, the underside, the top side, the edges, this cove top that I have here. There you can see. Uh, let me just get a good shot. Maybe with my hand in it. There. Okay, so you get the idea. It's dirty everywhere. There. Okay, it's, I don't know, five minutes, whatever, to clean one. Not a big deal. But if you have 15 of these or whatever, and now it's eating into somebody's assembly time or I don't know it you know it takes time to clean it so the elements of the cabinet the, the gables and the top they fit together kind of well but there are a couple of issues you see there's a lip there and this one is for this cove molding is further in than the gable or the top but on the other side it's not the case because it's imperfectly or imprecisely made. Here it's sticking out. These little differences will stop these bookcases when you have many of them side by side to screw them together or fasten them together gapless uh, situation. So it's gonna be not looking perfect here where pieces are sticking out. Same on the bottom. The two sides the, the, the sides here, the uh, left and right side, on, on both the left and the right side of the cabinet, this baseboard, let's call this one baseboard, it sticks out, okay? Or kicker, it sticks out. So, that also means when the cabinet is on its gable, on its side, and you are nailing the back on and you're working with it, and if you drag it, if you drag it, trying to slide it, and it catches on the carpet or something and it rips out good luck fixing it okay same on this side it's just sticking out okay and if it and if it catches on the carpet like i said it's not really repairable once it's ripped out so oh yes other than that the color yeah it's black it's pr probably a good match for a funeral or uh, or a lawyer's office. This one is just an office. It just wants to be a happy office with uh, light colors. So uh, I don't know if light colors or colors in general are available. Uh, this one's black. 
Another thing about shelves, shelves is actually a safety issue. The shelves slide out. So if you are moving, removing something from the shelf, it's big and heavy. Here, there is a possibility of, of, of this shelf uncontrollably sliding out on these little shelf pins. I'm gonna get you a nice picture on this. There. Plus, it's got some plastic condoms pulled over it. That doesn't help. These shelf pins would need to be engaging with the shelf material. There's, the, there's your particle board again. So I would expect to see some kind of notches on the underside of the shelf that prevent the shelf from being pulled off when you're taking off something heavy from the shelf. Alright, just give me a sec. Let me put it back on with one hand. There we go. Without busting its corners. Alright. And, and that brings us to the last issue here with the shelf spacing. Alright, so this binder here, just standard binder, letter size, you know, nothing fancy. Okay, this one fits there with that much room to spare. And then it doesn't fit on the next shelf because this one is not adjustable, it's fixed. You can adjust the one below, but if you adjust it one notch one one notch down, then the binder is not gonna fit on the lowest shelf. Where do you want to put heavy binders? Of course, you want to put them on the lowest two shelves here and here. But this shelf here, the second shelf being fixed at this particular location, it just doesn't allow you to put two rows of binders on. All right, this one works. The next one works, and here you have three inches of space, all this space, which uh, to me says that this shaft, the fixed shaft, could have moved up yay much easily to allow this cabinet or bookcase to be designed with five nice even rows of binders, standard binders, not legal, to be on it, but as is. It's design as far as shelf spacing is just retarded. So that concludes the review.